By 2050, there'll be three billion new people on this planet. In order to house them, we're going to be building the equivalent of a city for one million people every five days. Already, Portland cement production is responsible for 8% of all CO2 emissions. We need to shift away from the way that things have been done in the construction industry for the past 200 years. If you look hard into nature, you can see many challenges have been solved. It's really about us utilizing those lessons and learnings into biotechnology for the construction industry and how we make the materials of our future. We're in a biotech revolution. Concrete is the single most consumed substance on Earth following water. As the population grows, we need more places to live. We need dams and highways and bridges. The downside of concrete is that it has a fundamental chemical reaction that requires the release of CO2 in the environment. So the building block of Portland cement is limestone, is calcium carbonate. We dig that out of the Earth's crust, we burn it at 1450 degrees Celsius, we release the carbon dioxide and we're left with calcium oxide, the active material that enables concrete to exist. How do you create a carbon neutral version of cement? To solve that problem, we have to go back to the fundamental chemistry. So the idea to grow cement came from reading about how nature is able to grow this strong and durable cement all around us, including marine environments. I asked the question, well, what if you could grow it? There's an estimated one trillion species of bacteria on planet Earth. They are capable of producing materials that have different structures, different kinds of performance features. They take that same limestone, that same fundamental material we use to produce Portland cement, but they decompose it and reform it into new forms of limestone that are cementitious, that are like concrete, that create shells and coral reefs and strong biological structures. So Biomason is a technology company. We use microorganisms that are responsible for creating calcium carbonate cements and aggregates. We're actually using the blueprints from nature to make an alternative to Portland cement. So Biomason is the only company in the world currently producing commercial products in the form of concrete using bacteria to grow the cement. So we're unique in the sense that we are using biology itself and the way that the planet makes concrete and has long before humankind. So the starting point for our bio cement is our bacteria. It's the same thing as making beer but we're making cement. We grow it in our lab and stabilize it. We then add it to our aggregate, which we take as a waste product from mining facilities. We then put it together and mix it up, get our bacteria alive and happy, and then use our press here to stamp out product. We then put it into our hydroponic system where we seed it with our calcium, and the nutrients to help the bacteria live. It takes about 50 to 72 hours to process from a sandcastle into a, a hardened brick at ambient temperatures. And so as soon as our units are dry, that bacteria is no longer active. The process of making biocement has a significantly reduced CO2 output because we are able to harness the power of bacteria, generating a lot less CO2 through that process. Currently, we are producing a thin tile that could be used for indoor or outdoor application. But we're excited about future versions of our technology. 80 to 85% of the market is dominated by the ready mix industry. In order to get to our goal of reducing CO2 emissions by 25%, we need to get into ready mix. What excites me about the future of the construction industry is imagining what our world's gonna look like in 100 years from now. We knew from the beginning that to make the biggest impact that we could, we could not just be one plant, that we had to be able to go into existing manufacturing, be easy to use, and utilize the same equipment that's used in standard production of concrete materials. So we're starting with tiles, but that's just the beginning. Being able to grow your concrete, being able to 
leverage this wonderful biological perspective will start to become normalized. We're in an inflection point for our planet. The potential for creating different construction materials using biological systems is potentially endless. I believe the applications for biotechnology are correlative to the uh, biodiversity of the world around us. Humans have looked at about one one thousandth of a percent of bacteria, and we're only really starting to learn how to harness that for engineered applications in our world. The organisms that we are surrounded by are trying to do exactly what we're trying to do. They're trying to build their homes, trying to make materials. And when you realize that, the false separation between us and the rest of the natural world starts to dissolve away.